Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here with Bish's RV with another very first for our channel. Today bringing you our very first North Trail, which is a brand that specializes a lot of times in smaller, lighter stuff, very good for half ton pickups. So naturally, what do I do? Well, I pick the very biggest, largest, heaviest one that they have in their lineup to begin with. But that being said, that's one of the reasons I want to focus on this one. 8,336 pounds dry weight as we see it here today with things like the second air app optioned onto it. That is very lightweight considering you have a full king bed slide, washer dryer hookups, opposing super slides, uh, you know, a, uh, uh, a very strong tongue and groove plywood floor, extra thick two inch sidewalls that frankly folks, very few travel trailers have. That's something I actually have gotten wrong in some of my previous videos, so I made sure I verified it on this one. These are using two inch sidewalls. They have a four inch thick laminated roof, very similar to like a Rockwood or a Flagstaff roof or something like that. Um, there are some very interesting, cool construction points on these, and I think that's really the main value here. There's maybe a couple little things you could look at and say, you know, maybe they could do a little bit of this, they could do a little bit of that. Certainly, I think you could nitpick about any brand like that. What I like here is the really, I think, main big critical stuff they've nailed from the factory. If there's a couple little preferential items, like the toilet, for instance, you can swap that out later. I like some of the decisions they made and the overall logic on this, and I think, um, listening to the, the brand manager that I talked to today, a couple of areas where maybe you could say, well, they're not doing this or that, they are working on in the future. I think it's a brand that's really gonna be going places. So I'm, I'm really excited to see what happens here. Um, and, and again, with this being 8,300 pounds, it's what I call a portable park model. Now, normally right here, I jump right inside. And I know I've talked a lot so far, but what a portable park model, that, that sounds like an oxymoron, you know? Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> it sounds like a, a husband who made a good decision. It just doesn't make sense when you say it out loud. But this is a big triple slide trailer. This is something you could, but I don't think you're probably going to want to tow every weekend. I think it's something you might get it there for a seasonal park it and leave it and then bring it home. So if you do still need to move something, if it doesn't stay in the park all the time, this is light enough that I, I'm not saying, I don't like the idea of this being on half ton. I think it's like a 39 foot rig. I think it's a little more than half ton should be handling for sure. But I think a solid three quarter, you'd handle it. So if you're gonna snowbird, sunbird, you don't want the extra steps of a fifth wheel, but you want a lot of fifth wheel conveniences like the big bed, the opposing size, the washer dryer prep when you get there. This is a sneaky cool model. And since this is our first North Trail on this channel, new anyway, I've, I've touched a few used ones. I do like, uh, it's kind of cool going through those used ones versus this new one, seeing what they've updated and improved, however, and some of that is construction related. So hang with me here. I would, uh, what, what I want to say here is I would ask your first impressions. Um, what do you think about the overall look of this inside and outside? Like the decor elements here, um, I hesitate to use the word farmhouse inspired because I think farmhouse in the RV industry has largely become associated with like white cabinet uh, cabinets and distressing. <laughs> cabinet dressing uh, is apparently what I wanted to say. This, uh, man, I am not batting a thousand today. Oh my goodness. Anyway, um, but it still has to me what feels a little bit like a farmhouse look, but maybe on the gray side instead of the white side of farmhouse. And I think one of the things that's really helping that over here is like the butcher's block kitchen counter print in those sealed edge uh, countertops that we're looking at. Now, um, I, I wanna give you some baseline construction info. Let's start from the bottom up. They are uh, using not a laminated floor, although this is a product that is mostly laminated. The floor has 5 8 tongue and groove plywood floor decking on top of uh, aluminum studs. So it's still a strong, uh, a lightweight floor, but it's a very strong floor. Now your walls, one of the very interesting qualities on these is they are a true two inch sidewall. Um, that is very rare in travel trailers. It's more rare than I used to think it was. I, uh, I, I've learned that some brands that have called themselves a two inch wall are not. And where I learned to look for it is the door jam. RV doors are two inches thick. The suppliers make them two inches thick. So if you can get your fingers behind that black flange, you know it is less than a two inch thick wall. That is a major difference in the way that they do their walls here on their North trails. Also, the way that they box that window in, I don't know. It's kind of cute. I'll get those cabinets open in a minute, but that little shelf, I could see myself coming in, just having a spot, set down my phone, you know, just, just some nice little things like that. And I spotted a set of power outlets around that corner we'll get to peek at. Nice little phone charging station. Now, being fair, 
The full entry door has a window, not a shade. We can fix that. It, it, it just It's one of those things that annoys me. The slide side windows do not open for airflow. All of the rest of them will. You might look at this and say, well, I don't see where that big picture window slides open. If you look a little closer, that's a fire escape window, so it does tilt open for air. Now, if we look down below, uh, the, the table, by the way, does have an extension leaf, and this is carpetless. They've gone to that like marine woven flooring kind of stuff here. I... Uh, I'm not gonna. I, I'm not gonna name names. I'm not. I'm not into that kind of life. But I heard somebody at another. Uh, like we are in a show display today. There's other dealerships here, and just walking through different displays, I heard an individual representing another company say, "Yeah, that's you can you can try to slice that with a knife, and you won't cut it." Uh, I'm not gonna make that bet, nor am I gonna make a statement like that. That is absolute nonsense and stupidity. Uh, I, I've definitely got knives that would cut that stuff. <laughs> Now, let me get you, uh, I like to call it, you know, your point of view here. Let me get you over in the theater seat. Most North Trails, there's a couple of the small ones where it just can't fit, have this big 50-inch TV, and it's straight across from you. The bottom of the TV is at, like, my gut. Top of the TV is just over my head. You can see, well, you can see my reflection uh, in it there. But notice how it's not mounted way up high at a neck wrecker position. The TV also comes with... A little hidden surprise. This is what my grandfather would have called his Baptist medicine cabinet. Um, <laughs> my grandmother always knew what he was doing over there. It was just their fun little game. He just had a little something to keep the gold away over there. <laughs> now, it can uh, lock down in place, but this is another one of the improvements they've made. North Trail's done this for a little while. It reminds me of something Open Range used to do a long time ago. But, um... It's on gas struts now, like a big baggage door. So, uh, you know, you don't have to lift and hold the thing the whole time. You know, that's a nice chunk of storage that's otherwise lost. Now, speaking of other interesting surprises, look what's going on with the sofa. This is an extremely versatile sofa. Um, so, uh, we've got a theater seat in this floor plan. This is the hide -a bed but what if the guest wants to kick up their feet? It's even got its own little basically slide open ottoman, but that's not all it's good for. It comes with a little hidden storage surprise right here, but you might notice how it's basically stuffed full of what looks like a cushion. What, why is that there? Well, the back section of this is actually just a hide -a bed sofa, but this little trundle style footrest that kicks out, you grab the little cushion out of that thing, and voila, you have yourself a big tri-section sleeper sofa. Now, even when that's open, you can still uh, kick your feet out on the theater seats. You may not be able to fully recline, uh, but you could at least kick your feet out. So uh, if you've got somebody like me sleeping with you and I sleep in if I get the opportunity, uh, like I'm one of those people, I, I hit my snooze alarm at least three times before I wake up. Anybody else live off the snooze button? Because I would die without it, frankly. Um, if you tried to wake me up without the snooze button, I literally, I think my body would cease to function. Anyway, look at the giant side stands. Now, this is what I'm going to call like a two-adult seater. If you're going to have two adults sleeping on this for the weekend, they better be familiar with one another because in some third world countries, you sleep that close together overnight and you're legally married, I think. Uh, anyway, but it allowed them the opportunity for huge side stands. And I love the placement of those outlets back there. Now, I don't see a lot of USB plugs in a North Trail, but I don't really see where this is built with the intention of a lot of off-grid camping currently. They might shift to that more in the future, but currently I don't see that. So anywhere I got a household plug, logically I'm probably parked, uh, plugged into Park Power, so I could just use like my little phone's uh, household to USB plug adapter. And as you can see, that TV can pivot around. So it doesn't matter if you're at the theater seat, the dinette, or the sofa. Any of the seating positions can have some very good visibility on that thing right there. Uh, swinging ourselves around over here, taking a look at the kitchen. Um, I, I, like, I know that some people dislike when you start mixing and matching different tones. This color palette's okay for me. I like that they stayed consistent within the slide. I'm not a fan of when the color shifts halfway through the slide personally. It's not my favorite thing. It's not a deal breaker for me, but not my favorite thing. Now, not only are we carpetless, notice we have a carpetless kitchen slide along with the living slide, and we have ventless flooring. One, two, three, easy breezy, beautiful cover girl kind of camping right there. That is easy cleaning. Um, again, these are all sealed edge pressed membrane countertops, and 
I mean, they've got a lot of counter space in this because they have that extra large coffee bar over there. But I don't want to forget it. I want to actually start opening up some storage over here. And again, pointing out, uh, pointing out on the right-hand side right there, you've got some outlets. That makes a perfect little charge station. Ooh, you know what else you could use that for? That, like, if you want to get like a little, uh, like a, a router, a little Wi-Fi hotspot, something like that, that'd be a perfect little place for that. In the middle of the RV would give you a good signal all around your campsite. That's a perfect spot for something like that, isn't it? Sorry about that, I saw something shiny. What would you put in that little cabinet by the flip-flops, maybe? I don't know, I don't know. Uh, this forward bar, wall, whatever you want to call it here, that'd be a perfect coffee maker station because it's deep enough to actually set a coffee maker there and you've got some easy reach outlets. Drawers down below, little pocket of storage. I'd say that'd be good for a small waste basket if it weren't for the fact that built into the island we have a place for a giant waste basket and we don't got to worry about that. You see the uh, stainless farm sink inset into the uh, sealed edge countertop here. And also on the rest of the island, which notice that the island is asymmetrical, by the way. They shove the sink over to the left, which makes sense to me. Because that means that I have prep space over here and I have prep space over there by the coffee bar, essentially on either side of the sink. For me, at least it makes sense. It's not a symmetrical kitchen, but it has a symmetrical function if you will I, I i i know that like technically speaking it doesn't have i think you get what i'm saying though right i'm gonna move on nice big pantry built right into the middle of the slide there and you see we've got the uh this is the standard fridge the 12 volt dc compressor fridge giving us a bigger capacity and like four times faster cooling um a uh, uh, eight cubic foot gas electric two-way fridge is available on these as an option, by the way. And just to kind of show you how uh, big the chunk of counter is next to the stove on the right-hand side here, I threw the sink cover over there. You know, I figured to give you a frame of reference. It is, however, uh, a little kitchen station that is definitely made for right-handed people so you can stir the pot the way that I like to do, uh, you know, all the time, stirring the pot, <laughs> but then put the spoon on the right-hand side. If you're a lefty, it's not as comfortable. And as I always say, no side splash beside the stove. But frankly, since no manufacturer does that, I guess they're all on an even keel in that regard, as it were. You know what I mean? Now, I have a couple concerns about the road mode fridge accessibility on this one. But uh, before we step back outside, hang with me. I will get the slides closed up so you can check that out. I want to get you up here into this bedroom. I want to show you what's awesome about it, what some people might dislike, or what, what I feel maybe could be done a little bit better. First of all, every single North Trail has the 72 by 80 king bed, meaning you can actually find replacement mattresses that fit. You can buy normal sheets that fit without having to go to some special RV mattress barn outlet warehouse extravaganza to get these goofy, stupid measurement bed sizes. Um, that was a long description, sorry. Uh, you can get a uh, optional second air conditioner on this one. You see though, it is a direct dump AC. Now some people like that. Some people are like, yeah, I like my bedroom to be like an ice box. I will tell you though, the offset, it's gonna, make, it's gonna be noisy here in the bedroom. That doesn't bother me. I like to sleep with a fan on. So a camper like this, I'm totally cool with that. Um, I, I would just leave the fan on all the time so that when it kicks on with the compressor, it doesn't totally disrupt me. And good gravy. That is a redonkulously sized closet up front. I mean, that is huge. And did you notice how over here we have those uh, washer dryer hookups? That is a very rare thing. Now, this looks like a camper that's a little more set for a combo washer dryer. Um, I would maybe have to get in touch with our, our parts team to see like, you know, is there a side-by-side -side washer and dryer setup we could put in there? But I think even if we could, the offset to that uh, is that you'd just be munching your closet space. Uh, by the way, if you wanna put a TV in here, you see that extra thick center beam? That's there so you can actually mount a TV onto it. That being said, you're not gonna get something too awful wide due to the presence of those cabinet doors. But if you didn't mind losing those, you could put a bigger TV on that maybe just hangs down a little bit. It's all going to depend on the TV mount that you have uh, available. Now, uh, again, being fair, in the kitchen, we had sealed edge countertops. 
some areas of the RV, they do drop down to a T molding. Um, that doesn't necessarily bother me in here too much because we're not near a water source. I don't like them as much, but it's not necessarily really hurting anything. Swinging around here into the bathroom, it is a dual entry bath. Um, and this is where I sing sometimes North Trail hits some of the big items and then they leave a few things up to you. Like if you want a porcelain toilet, and by the way, there's plenty of room around that thing. A porcelain toilet is easy to swap out and some people don't care. Good linen space here in the bathroom. I'll get that open in just a second. And kind of like the whole uh, toilet conversation. It's a simple four inch fart fan. But if you wanted to upgrade to like a bigger Max Air style fan, that's easy stuff that we can accomplish for you. Uh, better look at the uh, linen space. And that does go all the way down to the floor by the way now i know some folks really dislike radius showers can't change it on this one apologies i do think um but my personal preference i've kind of i've changed on this over the years uh as i've used more rvs i used to like dual entry bed and baths uh but i kind of personally think the second door here into the bedroom i think if they just walled that off they could move the bathroom around a little bit and still give us uh, a like a rectangular shower instead of a radius shower. What do you think about that idea, that, that shower change? Now, that's a big deal. Changing a room around on an RV that's already built, that is not fun for a manufacturer to do. They have to do a lot of re-engineering sometimes. Um, personally, I think it would make a better floor plan, but I'm open to your input on that. Or am I just totally off my rocker? <laughs> And my road mode suspicions were largely confirmed here. You're pretty much going to lose the refrigerator in transit. Like, you could maybe sneak through here, but you can't get the door open on the fridge anyway. Now, I'm going to ask you guys, is that really a big deal on this one? And here's why I ask. Because I think this model's something that's mostly designed to be used at a park. Um, I mean, you got to get it there, obviously. I don't think that's its primary function though. Now I did call this a portable park model. So moving it is certainly part of the equation. I don't know, everyone's got their different things. I'm just trying to point them out. Speaking of maybe potential points of concern, I discovered something interesting with that 72 by 80 king bed in here. When you close the slide, it will actually squish the mattress about two inches against the dresser here. Now, um, I doubt that's really going to be much of an issue, but if you replace us with a big, heavy, thick king bed, that could be an issue. So here's a workaround. As you're closing up the slide, if you just kind of lay the mattress on top of that dresser as you're hitting the slide button to close it, you can do it. Now, depending on how big and how thick and how heavy your mattress, that could be a lot to wrestle. Again, Maybe a potential point of concern. I'm willing to address them. I'm willing to show this stuff for you. I want you to make sure you have all the information you possibly can before spending a lot of money on an RV. You know, we want you to make sure you get the right one. If you appreciate that kind of dedication, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let's hop outside. Now, um, sometimes uh, a little bit of what I do involves a little bit of myth busting. I've had people uh, who have approached me saying, well, I was told these were wide body. They're, they're not. It's an eight foot standard body. You know, the sidewalls are a traditional six and a half foot. They got that vaulted ceiling. Um, there's a lot of cool things, again, structural about this. Like uh, I mentioned that it has those uh, thicker two inch sidewalls, which again, almost no travel trailer typically has. Uh, and that is something that I have uh, errantly uh, reported on some previous brands uh, that I I got wrong so I mean you know it happens but when I get something wrong I want you to know that I will step up and say no I got that wrong there now um, on the far side over there you see that black box in the upper area that is prepped for the uh, LCI uh, tire pressure monitoring system thing it's called tire minder something like that now that big cardboard box that is dwarfed inside of what they call the King Kong storage look at that it's even got the angry ape face on it so that you know he's serious and look at him pointing in here like, that's right, that's right. It's big enough for me. S sorry, it's early. Um, <laughs> I'm still a little bit like from, from not sleeping a lot last night. Anyway, um, big grill outside here in that cardboard box. And then I had one of the fellows throw their backpack in here just to give you a frame of reference on that. And I see uh, slam latches, magnet holdbacks, things like that on there. We have that fully painted nose cap looking good, three quarter cap with the stone guard down below, which is a way that I really like these to be done, by the way. Um, uh, interesting note for you. Um, 
If you uh, look at a Mallard out there in the marketplace, that is a sister brand to this. They're not clones. Now, structurally, um, uh, a Mallard is a, uh, a North Trail that has been given a new name. Now, they do have different floor plans. There's a few differences, like Mallards don't have TVs, for instance, where these do. So there's a couple things there. Now, uh, as far as I've seen, even the very shortest Mallards run on wide stance stability axles, and that will always give you an improved towing scenario. You will bounce and sway and wiggle less with those things, um, but especially on a bigger model like this, the longer the trailer is, the more easily it can push the vehicle around. That makes a huge difference. Now, one of the other things I was really excited to see on this is uh, Asdell. Now, it is what I call, I guess, like a half Asdell wall, not a double Asdell, which sounds like a four times difference. But anyway, it's Asdell just below the exterior fiberglass of the side walls. It's not inside and outside. That is still helping with uh, weight management. It is still helping with uh, re reducing uh, worries about, you know, water penetration, a.k.a. leaks, things like that. Um, and notice, again, all of the windows over here on the door side of this thing. Now, remember, we had that grill in the pass-through. That will actually mount here on the bumper. And what's kind of cool about that, it's sort of a classic way of doing things, but when it swings around like that, it uh, you're keeping the heat and the grease and everything away from the camper. So, let me know what you think. Like I said, this is their biggest unit. Although, this thing's kind of a hoss. I, I sort of like it. And again, the lightweight versus the size, to me, is kind of impressive. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this stuff. If you'd like to see more North Trails, I am going to get an initial batch recorded so you can get to see a little bit more of their lineup. A couple bunks, a couple uh, couples models, some big, some small. Obviously, we got one of the big ones right out of the way here. Um, any concerns you have, any things you'd like to see from them moving forward, like, okay, uh, for the 2023 models, what would you love to see updated or changed on these? And what would you like to see kept? And what are they really doing well? That's the stuff I'd love to be able to relay back to them. And as always, folks, I, I, I ask you this kind of stuff all the time, but your feedback seriously makes a difference. Yesterday, I was talking to one of the product managers at East to West, and he goes, seriously, I was listening, or I was reading some of the comments on your channel, and those folks made some good points. I'm gonna get some of that stuff done. Your input is often being directly seen by the people that, that at manage these. That's why I'm asking that stuff, and that's why I'll keep asking it. We can make this better together. So take care, stay safe, have fun. Remember to subscribe, everyone.